Commission on Audit Report says Solicitor General Jose Calida received 7.46 million pesos in excess allowances in 2017. Alida received a total of 8.37 million in allowances in 2017, but the COA considered the 7.46 million pesos as excess because it was more than 50% of his annual salary. The COA says the Office of the Solicitor General should refund the excess amount received. COA Circular No. 8225E states that allowances should not exceed 50% of the annual salary. As Solicitor General, Kalida's annual salary is 1.827 million pesos, which means his allowances should not exceed 913,950 pesos. His predecessors, Florin Hilbay and Francis Hordeleza, were also flagged for excess allowances. In 2016, both Kalida and Hilbay had the same defense for their excess allowances, that the OSG law allows them to receive the allowances and that COA cannot countermand an act of Congress. Kalida is currently embroiled in a controversy over 261.39 million pesos worth of government contracts that his family-owned security firm bagged during his stint as OSG. Kalida says he will neither divest his majority shares from the company nor resign as Solicitor General. President Rodrigo Duterte issues Executive Order No. 56 setting 911 as the new national emergency hotline for public safety and crime prevention. Under EO 56, the 911 National Emergency Hotline number is set to replace the current Patrol 117 hotline network. All calls made to the new 911 hotline will be free of charge. This will be ensured by the 911 Emergency Commission created under the EO. The change in hotline number comes after EO 56 states that there is a need to conform with international standards. The Department of the Interior and Local Government is assigned to direct a newly created Emergency 911 National Hotline Public Safety Answering Center or simply National Call Center. All local government units are ordered to create their own 911 local call centers using their own funds. Primary responders to 911 calls will be the Philippine National Police and the Bureau of Fire Protection. Metro Manila Police Chief Director Camilo Cascolan is removed from his post Friday, barely six weeks after he assumed the position. Cascolan was replaced by Chief Superintendent Guillermo Eliazar, who was plucked from his post as Chief of Police of the Calabarzon region in southern Tagalog. The reshuffle follows new Philippine National Police Chief Oscar Albayalde's announcement that he wanted to reorganize officials based on merit, not connections. Cascolan and Eliazar were among at least 25 police generals given new assignments. Cascolan assumed the Metro Manila top cop position with the promise of systematizing crime response and was among the first appointees of Albayalde, his classmate at the Philippine Military Academy. Eliazar, a 1987 PMA graduate, is junior to Cascolan and Albayalde. Cascolan now heads the PNP Civil Security Group, which handles the licensing of the security agencies, among others. The new appointment is seen as a demotion. The top Metro Manila post is much coveted in the PNP. It is a stepping post to becoming the PNP chief. Albayalde himself held that position. Before being assigned to the NCRPO, Cascolan headed the PNP Directorate for Operations and co-authored the popular yet controversial Oplan Tokhang. Singapore top officials are scrambling to save the historic meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un planned for June 12 in the city-state. Police are preparing to lock down the city and thousands of journalists are expected to cover the historic event. The delegations of U.S. and North Korean officials along with security details are expected to be huge. If the summit already cancelled once by Trump before plans got back on track goes ahead, the tiny, placid Singapore will be the unlikely ground zero for one of the biggest geopolitical events of recent times. The historic summit will easily eclipse the contingent of journalists at the last comparable event in Singapore, the 2015 meeting between Chinese President Xi Jinping and Taiwan's then-leader Ma Ying-jeou. The Philippines declines a notch in both types of rankings in the latest UCLA Speed Test Global Index. The Speed Test Global Index is a monthly comparison of internet speed data from around the world, based on speed test ratings taken on the UCLA Speed Test Service. For mobile internet speeds, the Philippines ranks 96, down from 95th place last month. Mobile download speeds are now at 14.01 megabits per second or Mbps, and upload speeds are at 5.99 Mbps. 
These results remain well below the global mobile broadband speed averages of 22.61 Mbps download and 9.10 Mbps upload. For broadband speeds, the Philippines is down one rank from 82nd to 83rd place. Download speed is at 17.62 Mbps, while upload speed is at 15.27 Mbps. The results for fixed broadband speeds are also below the world average, with global average download speeds at 45.07 Mbps and global average upload speeds at 21.93 Mbps. Mm -hmm.